For than 20 years, a partnership between Gardner Police, the community, and inmates at Lansing Correctional Facility has been helping children in need by giving them repurposed bikes. KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leon tells us how years later, the program is changing the lives of children while creating new paths for everyone involved. Outside the Gardner Police Department, this group of donated bikes with rusted chains, broken handles, and ripped seats are on the move while carrying on a unique partnership. Even though we're in Johnson County, there are poverty-stricken families in our community that need stuff, and bicycles for kids is huge. For decades, Gardner PD has been giving kids a new set of wheels. I think that this year is gonna be a big impact since everything's kinda of catching up from COVID. But having a big impact requires everyone to be part of this ride. Everybody's able to help out in one way or another, no matter your situation. And where do these bikes go? Well, at least twice a year, Gardner PD and other community partners come out here to Lansing Correctional Facility, where it looks like a bike junkyard. These bikes are in the process of being repurposed, but they're not the only ones being restored. Take pride in it. Like every one of these bikes is going to go to my kid. I don't want a kid to get a messed up bike. 11 years ago, a judge sentenced Derek Ripto for involuntary manslaughter following a hit and run. Someone lost their life and that's nothing you can replace. Ripto knows he can't take back what happened that day, but he says fixing these donated bikes is steering him in a new direction. I can work every day to try and uh, do my part and, and this is kind of like doing my part. I'm helping the kids. And for the kids who get on the seat of one of these bikes, knowing the people behind their new ride want to break the cycle and change their path makes all the difference. You don't really think about people wanting a second chance or getting that second chance. And helping everyone move forward is what makes this ride special. Try and move forward the best I can and give back to the community, and this is one way I get to do it before even being released. And it only works when everyone works together in tandem. It helps everybody. You know, it doesn't really hurt anybody. Everybody's able to benefit from it in one way or another. Great story. That was KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leon. Daniela, thank you. This holiday season, Garner PD and Lansing managed to put together more than 150 bikes, which will be given to families in need.